The best thing about CARES program is the stop animation, comic link, and garage band. What I like best about it is that we get to make like short movies. Actually working with the computers and um, enjoying them. Garage band, because you get to make different kinds of beats. Eating snacks. I like the experience of getting the chance to like make uh, like a movie and like have my story on it. CARES is a mobile digital media program um, bringing creative after-school programming to kids in Scarborough. We use computers, um, we learn new things with them, and um, we get along with others too. It's something different. It's a digital program. It's, we're in a new age, and we're in a new, we're in a new generations where a lot of technology is really important to the kids, and they want. There's so many new ways of learning. The program really came about at a time when the city was uh, putting more attention on, on high needs neighborhoods and neighborhoods that didn't really have a lot of access to programs, social programs. School ends at 3, 3.30. Uh, most parents aren't getting home until 5, 6 o'clock at night. So there's that little piece of time in between where kids have to be supervised. And what's great is not only just supervision, but they have an opportunity to actually engage in creative activity. CARES is fun. CARES is a place like where I can be creative and CARES is a, like a program like that I learned a lot of stuff from where I didn't know before. When we talk about needs, Scarborough itself uh, lacks uh, all kinds of services uh, for, for young children um, and in particular for kids between the ages of 6 and 12. A lot of the 6 to 12 year olds uh, don't have an after school program to go to, they don't have a child care program that they can access. A lot of these children become latchkey kids, so we were looking to, even though in, in temporary uh, stretches of, of eight weeks or so, and, tw and twice a week, at least giving, giving them some services that they could access. Uh, we did a needs assessment uh, which, uh, where we talked to parents and, and to, to see what they really wanted, and what they wanted was basically something for the child to do after school. And then from there we applied and were successful in obtaining four years of funding from the Trillium Foundation to help us set up the program, uh, pilot it in schools, and develop the model for delivering digital arts. Um, it's a very accessible program. Um, in that students can find their own way to navigate the program. Using digital photography, there's met, any kid can pick up a camera and, and take a photograph. You don't have to be quote-unquote artist and someone who feels like they can draw well. That's always, a, that's always a barrier with arts programs, I think, is that um, some kids don't think that they're artistic or creative. They're not sure, but with the good thing with digital arts is that anybody can do a, a short film. Anyone can pick up a camera and take a photograph. Go. Go. We try to do something new every time the kids come in. So we have a general curriculum that we like to stick to. We kind of start off with photography 101 basics, like how to compose a shot, what kind of looks good and what a macro shot is and stuff like that. And we teach them how to use the cameras and how to look for those kind of things, try to just develop their eye a little bit. And the next session we'll build on that and we'll say, okay, now we're gonna take these photos that you guys did and look what you can do with them. And we get them to bring it into Photoshop and we start you know, teaching them about taking their head and putting it on the body of an animal just to kind of uh, make the beginning the process of making digital art pieces from um, their photographs and, and we do some story development with their arts and crafts and we get them to cut out little characters and make backgrounds and while they're doing that they're taking pictures so they're in little groups and there'll be one person with a camera set up on a tripod and then the rest of the group will be doing the art piece and moving the characters around and you know every minute we'll have a symbol we'll say photo or something like that shoot in the next session we get all those pictures that they took with the crafts kind of moving along and we get them to bring it into iMovie and that turns into a stop motion the fact that we were able to to put this program in the schools not just give these children uh, hands-on use of, of, of digital cameras and videos uh, and, and, and computers, but a digital artist to go along with it uh, so, so that they're, they, they can learn, learn skills. It's a skill, a skill set learning as well. It's, 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 uh, it's life skills, it's, it's building self-esteem, it's building confidence in our young children, and that bodes really well for everyone. Over the last uh, 
three years, uh, Scarborough Cares has reached over 400 kids um, in over 20 schools and community centers right across Scarborough. Um, we've also involved over 10 um, young emerging artists in the program and program staff, um, plus volunteers and, and, and other people who have been involved. So it's reached a lot of people. I love working on computers. I definitely want to go back. Okay. Um, this year I love making like the book. We um, got to make like a little like a bunch of comics for your own segment of the book. That's a really good thing about CARES is that we go to these schools and we give, we give them programs and uh, projects that really doesn't exist in their uh, normal curriculum and that's important and bringing something new to their everyday life and them having to come into our program in a very happy face and having to learn more, that shows that we're doing something. We're investing in our children, we're investing in our future. I personally can't think of something more worthwhile 